Hey guys, it's a back-to-back -back awesome news day and we're not gonna talk about the Galaxy S9, no, it's time to talk about the beast that we will see almost six months from now. Yes, I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now if we look at the Boss Note flagship, the Galaxy Note 8, it's hard to believe that a year earlier, the Note 7 was a subject to the biggest smartphone fail ever. It exploded in a jeep, on a plane, on a bed, and all this made Samsung recall the phone which many believed would have been the best smartphone of that year. Everyone thought Samsung might change its strategy, they might change the Note name and drop the whole lineup instead, make a Galaxy S8 Pro with S Pen Sport, but still they released the Galaxy Note 8, they went with the same name, and guess what, it was overall the best smartphone of 2017 with no compromises, I've been using it ever since it came out and it's amazing. Despite what happened earlier, Samsung's iconic beast prevailed. And this year is all about improving the design further, the Galaxy S9 is coming with a lot of new features the design is a little bit changed but it's mainly the same so a similar thing will happen with the galaxy note 9 it's going to be based on the note 8 design and a lot of people have speculated that the notch is coming to samsung flashes but samsung pretty much showed us what they think about the notch so we have some information actually coming from samsung themselves that reveals what the galaxy note 9 will look like so from the latest leak coming from samsung's promotional bixby image it reveals the possible galaxy note 9 design from the front as you can see it's retaining that same awesome look uh, with that minimal bottom bezel like the galaxy s9 this is the new infinity design 2.0 we talked about it before this is how the front of the galaxy note 9 will look and on the back this is what is believed to be the look horizontal dual cameras this image was recently used for promotion of exynos 9810 chipsets camera capabilities and at first i thought it was just a promotional image but but a recent leak had me thinking otherwise. Twitter leakster from China has tweeted out saying that Galaxy Note 9 will have an in-display fingerprint scanner, further confirming the previous rumors and reports that the Galaxy Note 9 will be the first Samsung flagship phone to rock an in-display fingerprint scanner. It's not even a surprise anymore, to be honest. I mean, even companies like Doji, they are making an in-display fingerprint scanner phone this year. So it is obvious that Galaxy Note 9 will have it and it's a must-have feature. I mean, we have waited for so long. It was first rumored for the Galaxy S8, then the Galaxy Note 8, then S9, and now with Note 9, the wait seems to be over. Now, because the finger scanner is coming under the display, uh, the back of the phone might look like this. Just horizontal dual cameras at the back. No finger scanner whatsoever. It's just going to be clean horizontal dual cameras obviously if they go for the vertical look then it's gonna look hella like the galaxy s9 plus so i honestly think that samsung will stay horizontal uh, with the dual cameras on the next Galaxy Note phone because they want to create some kind of separation between the Note and the S9 Plus. And of course, the heart that runs the beast, Exynos 9810 and the US Snapdragon 845 processor. Both of these chips are, they support 3D face tracking and advanced face detection. So by the time the Note 9 comes, Samsung will be able to build a fast 3D facial scanner as well. Imagine the Note 9 with a 3D facial scanner as secure as Apple's Face ID and at the same time having the in-display fingerprint scanner. It's going to be beastly. With all this, Samsung will once again prove to the world why their Note phone ends up being the best and since the S9 family still have the 3.5mm headphone jack, it is obvious that Note 9 will rock it as well, making it one of the only few flagship to still have it. And of course, the micro SD card slot will still be there for storage expansion, and there will be a dual SIM variant as well. I mean, with Samsung, it's all about options. The AKG Tune dual stereo speakers will be on board as well. The camera sensor that we have yet to see with the Galaxy S9 will be further improved for the Note 9. The battery size is also getting bigger on all the flagships from Samsung this year. So the Galaxy S9 is expected to come with a 3200mm cell. The S9 Plus is expected to go to 3600 or 3700mm cell. And the same can be said for the Galaxy Note 9. The battery life on the Note 8 was not quite as good as the S8 Plus. So this year I expect Samsung to bring the Note 9 with the same battery size as the S9 Plus. And of course the S Pen, the stylus, the holy weapon of 
the Note series will be present. Uh, so yeah, that's all we have on the Galaxy Note 9, the Infinity Design 2.0 plus in-display fingerprint scanner plus a horizontal dual camera setup. This is what you can expect from the next big dog. And also Samsung, they keep revealing the Galaxy S9 and this was sent to me recently on Twitter. Uh, the Infinity Design 2.0 found in the Samsung Pay app. You can see that same device that I showed you in the last video with that minimal bottom bezel. I guess soon they'll start showing the Note 9 design as well. Now as far as the release date for the Galaxy Note 9 is concerned, it's going to be announced worldwide in the month of August uh, 2018. But of course, the focus right now is on the Galaxy S9, which will be announced next month at MWC 2018. I'm really excited for the Galaxy S9 family, uh, but the Note 9 is definitely bringing uh, one feature that we won't see on the S9, and that's an in-display fingerprint scanner. Let me know in the comment section below, are you willing to wait for the Note 9 and skip the Galaxy S9 for an in-display fingerprint scanner? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. And yeah, that's all on the Note 9 right now. Samsung has a habit of leaking their phone's upcoming design in their own promotional stuff. So I guess this is how the Note 9 could look. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And why not subscribe to the channel for future content. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.